Sometimes when we're going through a change or a challenge or we're in the process of achieving an important goal, our minds can derail us with this constant chit chat, worry, regret. And for me, sometimes it's untethered excitement, you know? And when this happens, a really cool tool that I love to use is mantras. What the heck's a mantra and how can we apply it to navigating change, mastering transitions and making our dreams come true? Well, that's today's topic. Hello and welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series. I'm Lori Mage and this is day 32 in the 100 day challenge where I'm stacking my energy, work and love goals and sharing 100 of my favorite tools, tips and ideas to help you and me more effectively navigate change, master our transitions and make our dreams come true. Let's jump in. Mantras. Mantras are awesome. Mantras can be used to help us redirect our attention, to ground us, to inspire and motivate us. And really quickly, the word mantra can be broken down into two parts. We have ma, which means mind, and tra, which means transport or vehicle. In other words, a mantra is an instrument of the mind, a tool of the mind. Mantras can be deeply spiritual and used in meditation and prayer practices. And mantras can also be deeply personal and used to simply get your day off to a great start, remind you of what's important when you're with loved ones or anytime you're competing, you're feeling overwhelmed, scared, excited, or challenged. Today, our focus is on personal mantras and identifying phrases and words that can help us when our minds are racing from a specific challenge or change or transition that we're going through that may or may not have been chosen by us, right? For example, when the unexpected shows up in my life, I'll often ground myself with phrases like, this is what we train for, right? That comes from the Optimize program. Um, another one from the Optimize program is obstacles make me tr obstacles make me stronger, right? Ohms, obstacles make me stronger, or bring it on, right? Bring it on. We say with excitement as we're challenged. When I was playing college softball and I would be heading to the plate, I would often say to myself, "Grip it and rip it." Grip it and rip it, Lori. What's really fun about this one is that I still use it today. It's just slightly modified in, in a different context. When I'm about ready to take the stage uh, to give a talk or do a video or teach a class, my mind can be racing a ton. Like these things matter to me and I want to make a difference in people's lives. And so I can get way out there with this racing mind and fear and excitement and anxiety can all just be clouding my mind. In those moments, I'll ground myself into a state of calm confidence by repeating the phrase, let it rip, Lori, let it rip. And when I use that mantra, grip it and rip it in college, and I continue to use it, let it rip as I walk on stage to give a talk, it calmly reminds me that I've done the work, you know, trust yourself and trust your training, trust your practice time. You've done the work, Lori, just let it rip, let it rip. Some of my other favorites are, let go, let God, that can also help for a talk, that can also help when I'm in a meeting sometimes. I love to refer to Maslow when I'm feeling stretched to do something that's outside of my comfort zone, but I feel called to do it. And what Maslow says is what one can be, one must be. What one can be, one must be. And when I'm feeling that call, I'll remind myself what one can be, one must be. If there's a potential here for me to show up in a powerful way, I must do it or my soul will not be satisfied, right? So I'll use that one. Another one of my favorites is if not now, then when? If not now, then when? That'll get me into action. If not you, then who? Process is primary. Everything is hard before it's easy, right? Everything big starts small. And thank you, Stoic Gods. Thank you, Stoic Gods. Or how about perfect? Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Perfect. Oh, that didn't work out? Perfect. Now it's your turn. Do you have mantras? If so, what are they? Share them in the comments below so others can be inspired by your words, inspired by your phrases, and maybe even adopt them for their own situations. If you don't have any, what word or phrase could you create or use to help you focus your attention in the challenge that you're up against, help ground you and inspire and support you as you navigate that change, as you overcome that challenge and you make your dreams and goals come true this year? Well, that's it. Day 32 of mantras. They do a mind good. They can help us redirect our monkey mind attention. They can ground us into a state of calm confidence. They can inspire and motivate us to find solutions and to take action. If you got value today, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a 
comment below. Share your mantras with us. Let us be inspired by your mantras. Let us, let us try them out in our situations. If you know somebody who will benefit from this video or from this series, please share it with them. I'm on a mission to help illuminate and brighten the world in some small way, shape, or form. And it's my hope that these video messages will get in the right hands, get in the right minds, the people that need it most. And so if you could help me find those people, I'd really, really appreciate it. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button so we can see each other again tomorrow. Until then, have an awesome night practicing your mantras. Day 32.